Alright guys, welcome to the video. So, this is gonna be the last video coming from my house for the entire summer. Um, after this guys, I'm going back to college. Um, today's Thursday, I'm heading back on Saturday, so very excited, but let's jump into the topic at hand. Um, so this is more of an informational kind of video, sort of me giving some anecdotal and uh, experience-based knowledge for you guys. Um, so I'm just gonna have some clips playing from a day where I was doing a 10 by 2 on deadlifts about a week and a half ago. It's some old clips, but they're still they're still pretty solid, especially for the purpose of this video. Um, I was doing a 10 by 3 that day with 420 pounds. But the question at hand is, how frequent should we deadlift? Um, it's a question that I feel like a lot of people sort of ask about all their lifts, like how frequently should I do this, how frequently should I do that? But I feel like the deadlift, especially um, because it's such a it's the lift we can use the most weight with most of the time um, it's something that I feel like especially with individual to individual really is a different answer there is no generic answer to how frequently should I deadlift I think that the the best sort of general answer you can give is you should deadlift as frequently sorry you should deadlift the least amount possible to still make progress that's what I actually believe um, so what I'm basically saying is that you know let's say you could handle a certain amount of volume but you know you'd still make prob progress with a lower amount of volume we want to use the least amount of frequency and volume possible to progress your deadlift while still making substantial progress so for me for instance the way that I actually set up my my micro cycle um, each micro cycle that I have in my training and if you guys don't know micro cycles are like yeah you know for some people they set it up as the individual weeks of training for me my micro cycles are two Two weeks long uh, so 14 days long um, so the way I set it up is that in 14 days I deadlift five times and right now deadlifting five times in 14 days is working very well and I'm seeing a lot of progress now for some people like let's say you're more of a beginner deadlifting closer to three to four times in the course of let's say 14 days if you were using that same uh, times period for your micro cycle would probably be more than enough to see progress more plenty of people deadlift in the beginning especially once a week and they'll see a ton of progress so for most beginners I would usually program or recommend three to four times per week of deadlifting five times for me I, I guess I'm like you know I've had some experience I'm definitely not gonna progress as easily as someone who just starts lifting um, so five times is working perfectly for me now the question is can we do it up to six seven times right and that's where it gets a little finicky guys because um, the thing is it really does depend on the individual person so six times let's say for every 14 days that would be deadlifting average of three times per Per week and I probably would split it up uh, up to three times per week just to give enough recovery time for everything and it is very possible I think you definitely can deadlift three times per week even up to three to four times per week depending on the person but you have to do it very carefully because deadlift is the movement we can use the most weight with we can fry ourselves out the most with it it's gonna give us the most amount of fatigue more than any of our other movements so we need to balance intensity and volume correctly so what I would probably do is let's say I was deadlifting three times in one week um, let's say let's say instead uh, I made a program for someone and I was having them deadlift twice in one week I would give them quite a decent amount of volume because since you're only touching that bar twice in that one week might as well get a decent amount of volume in those two days but if I was deadlifting three times in one week I would prefer to split my volume such that whatever volume I would do in those two days I would only do incrementally more volume in those three days but I would split it up in such a way that you know the volume would be split among three days as opposed to two I would still be doing more volume but I would only be trying to do a bit more volume um, and also in terms of the intensity um, for all of my five days where I'm deadlifting only one day and I really do mean this guys there's only one day where I go above an RPE of eight almost every single other day is under RP seven actually I don't really cross the seven boundary uh, for the majority of any of my training volume I really do believe that most of the gains that are to be made are actually from the RP of 5.5, which is really hard to gauge, I know that, but 5.5 to 7, so 6 to 7 basically. I believe that when you're in that RPE range, um, you can focus on technique. 
technique and actually being able to hammer in your volume correctly and you know a lot of people want to push more weight but when we're trying to build ourselves we have to in my opinion be more conservative play the patient game go with the marathon but anyway back to what I was saying though as long as you're balancing intensity properly by making sure that you're not like killing yourself every single day you can handle it no doubt um, and then another thing I would recommend doing is not necessarily doing the competition stance every time so let's say I deadlift three times in one week two times might be competition and then one time might be variation so for instance I might do two days of sumo deadlifting which is my competition movement and then one day I may do a conventional deadlift or I may even do something like Romanians a stiff leg whatever it would be I think just being able to do the motion of picking ball, uh, weight off the ground in the case of a deadlift uh, just being able to go through some motion similar to it is already giving you more uh, practice with the bar it's giving you a bigger advantage you're getting more volume you're not hitting the like for instance the competition movement ex uh, exactly but something like conventional will actually complement sumo and when you're in a building phase when you want to try and build up strength and muscle you might as well be hitting your muscles from more angles than just one um, that doesn't mean that we don't want specificity but we you know when we're in a time period where we are you know more than let's say seven eight weeks out of competition so I'd say anything more than eight weeks we're still in a phase where we can build a lot and we might as well if we're in that kind of phase focus on you know hammering out weak points just as much as doing the competition lifts so that's my recommendation guys um, it's not a clear-cut answer but it is up to the person you need to be able to be very objective and asking yourself well you know am I seeing progress with this much and before you increase the amount of days you're deadlifting ask yourself also if it comes down to form technique etc there's a lot more to progress than just doing more volume a lot of times it also comes down to you know using too high of an intensity every time you train you know using improper technique you can make a lot of fucking progress with only deadlifting twice a week for a long time too so you know it's really really up to the person and I also would say that bigger guys who have higher ranges of motions and things like that probably have to use less days of deadlifting or at least compared to the you know smaller person equivalent just because it takes a much bigger toll on your body the bigger the range of motion is considering how heavy the weight that you're going to be using relative to your own strength um, it is gonna take wear and tear on your body so you know I, I really do suggest balance Balancing the intensity and the frequency based on your own individual needs. So that's more or less it for the video, guys. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions on the topic, do let me know. Leave some comments. You know, just you know, give me some feedback. I really do appreciate that. Um, that's more or less it for this video. Um, next videos you guys are gonna be seeing, I'm gonna be in college. Very excited for that. Uh, the Wilkes Mansion, so to speak, the house that uh, a bunch of me and my powerlifting friends and non-powerlifting friends got together. Um, it's gonna be very exciting. I'm so hyped to see it, guys. So see you guys in the house. So peace out, guys. Thank you for watching and bye.